uh, dear participants uh, we are going to introduce you about the ecu and the uh, autosa architecture for the automotive systems now here i will first uh, let you know uh, what are the contents of this uh, uh, webinar is so first of all we will like to introduce you about the uh, ecus the electronic control units second we will be uh, letting you know about the uh, typical ecus to be used in automotive systems uh, then we'll discuss about the uh, the uh, different software architecture uh, that are being currently used in the uh, ecus uh, then we will be basically uh, moving on to the uh, autosa architecture so autosa is the uh, current software platform like with which we are using to basically uh, design the software of the different automotive systems and then we will be uh, guide you through the system design process we we'll let you know the uh, different industrial tools like which are being used for the like for the, the current generation of the software development then we'll uh, present you the uh, two case studies uh, how these issues are being used and the last one is the uh, job opportunities so what sort of the jobs or like what sort of the uh, roles uh, like for an embedded engineer uh, like in the field of the automotive systems so first we'll start with the introduction to the issue so as you can see uh, issue is an embedded system device unit uh, that controls the specific electronic electrical and, uh, and the electromechanical system in the uh, vehicle uh, it will be responsible for uh, power train safety feature like airbags and the body component like windows lighting system and, and the air conditioning system so like on the here you can see these are basically on the small unit like which are being used for the, the different vehicle systems uh, for example if you uh, like if you might see a suppose on a car you will be like using so you, so you see i mean different kind of the systems like suppose uh, we have a uh, airbag system lightning system uh, door sensor system uh, parking sensor systems so so, uh, so basically each of the system uh, will be actually controlled by a uh, uh, different issues so basically issue will represent a uh, uh, different uh, units for controlling of the uh, different features so how this issue will look uh, practically so practically what happens uh, i mean a uh, particular issue will be actually uh, mounted on a board so issue are basically made from the um, uh, microcontroller with the uh, like with the software being embedded into it and and you can just see the uh, see the packaging because the packaging has to be more robust so basically it is like uh, uh, packaged into a uh, aluminum shield or like or like the, the copper shield uh, just to be uh, bearing with the different temperature or the uh, like or the pressure within the vehicle next like uh, how actually an uh, issue will work so basically if you can see uh, issue receives various environmental data like temperature pressure crash sensors seat belt sensors etc and they will be processing this data as per the program functionality and then communicate with the actuator for the uh, different actions so basically so what does that issue will compromise so basically uh, issue will be embedded with, with the different kind of the uh, sensors basically so suppose if you are basically talking about your uh, the seat belt sensors so basically what happens uh, there will be a kind of a tension sensor whenever you are uh, plugging into a, a like a seat belt so basically uh, issue will get to know that okay uh, like like the seat belt has been plugged or like similarly if you basically talk about the uh, door control system so whenever like suppose if, if your uh, the window or your door remains open so you will get a, a notification uh, for example if you just talk about the airbag issue so basically how does it will work you can see airbag issue receives the information of crash and the occupant pressure from the crash sensors seat pressure and the temperature sensor and deploys the airbag so basically there is any of the the crash event will occur so airbag issue will basically detect that okay the the uh, so that okay the the crash has happened and it will just simply deploy the uh, airbag so like this like we can uh, categorize the different issue based on the functionality it will do next we will basically move on to the type of the issues so basically inside in car or like the or like the various automotive systems like your car buses trains so basically we will be having uh, different kind of issues for, for like for basically different kind of functionalities i mean just as i've uh, told to you so first of this class is called the engine control module so basically engine control module what it does is basically it will uh, it will basically perform the fuel and the power consumption of like uh, like uh, the optimization with the help of the multiple sensors so basically uh, just uh, if you just see the uh, dashboard of your car you can see the uh, i mean uh, level of the fuel you can see the uh, like your speed like your the current speed you can see the uh, various lamp indications that your the windows has like uh, your the door has been kept open or like uh, 
or like there are uh, or, or or like your uh, parking system uh, sensors so basically engine control module will basically uh, like take care of of your engine systems uh, different like the pertaining to your fuel and the uh, power consumption second we have the body control module so uh, so body component uh, if you just see in that automotive system so body component means your like uh, like the, your uh, the windows doors seat belts so these all will compromise your uh, your the body components for an automotive system so body control module like like it will be helpful uh, like it will take care of the of the various sensors which has been uh, like like embedded for the doors and all so, uh, systems uh, third we have brake control module so if you see like like uh, nowadays we have some of the advanced features like for the different uh, electronic braking systems uh, like sort of things so basically brake control module will actually take care for your like for the different electronic braking systems uh, similarly next one we have the passenger safety modules or like it is called an uh, airbag control module so basically uh, there can be different airbag modules for you so like uh, uh it can be for a driver it can be your uh, the front passenger seats so as you know like the uh, uh, the basic uh, like like functionality of the passenger safety module will be the basic will basically take care of your of the deployment of your airbags so if if there is any case of the accidents you will be basically uh, have this uh, airbag uh, this uh, airbag being deployed next is the infotainment system module so i mean while driving a car so everyone uh, likes to listen music or like listen the fms and all so basically uh, controlling like controlling those features will be uh, taken care by the infotainment system module so basically it will uh, like like take care of your all entertainment systems like your uh, the bluetooth connectivity or like your the wireless charging things so basically this will be taken care by the infotainment system modules so having said that there can be like uh, like more than 100 different issues within a uh, within a single car actually so like uh, like this will have uh, the big number of the issues and the each particular issue uh, it will uh, uh, it will perform different functionalities so for example if we have some of the issues mentioned here you can see uh, indoor outdoor temperature sensor seat belt tension sensors rain sensors oil sensors water coolant your accelerometer tachometer speedometer passenger occupancy fuel level parking sensor wheel speed odometer so i mean these are the some of the parameters like like normally which you are seeing in your uh, dashboard of your uh, driver so so each of those sensors will be like uh, connected to the uh, like it will be connected to the uh, different issues so issues will will basically read the uh, data from the different sensors and then it will take the particular action and like whatever the software like like we have uh, program for the different issues it will be uh, like performing that uh, that particular functionalities for us so here is so so here is an uh, like uh, example of a typical issue unit within a car so if you can see i mean uh, there are uh, lots of issues are being actually embedded so because if you if you just see a, a typical car we have the different sensors and like we have the different functionalities as well so sharing with you an example suppose we have a, a engine control module we have a airbag deployment similarly if you see uh, there are some of say suppose your uh, remote keyless entry as you see like like we can control the opening and closing of the door using our uh, our, our remote key right so similarly we can use that uh, we have the interior lighting suppose if you want to switch on the light of your interiors you can use it for that uh, you have the event data recorder event data recorder is like uh, is actually basic like uh, the black box uh, for a uh, for a particular car so so the whatever the like whatever the data is like happening like it will be basically captured by your event data recorder simply suppose if you are talking about the uh, electric vehicle so we will have the, the battery management uh, like sort of functionalities we will have navigation systems you will see the i mean different gps systems like uh, located for your driver dashboards simply there is one thing called electronic stability control so basically it will basically take your like uh, like of your uh, like of your all the electronic uh, uh, stability kind of thing simply electric power steering so so if you just see here so we have a typical different issue units being uh, and basically they are being uh, uh, interconnected so so each of the issues be, uh, like like basically will have a separate functionalities and also they are uh, and also they are basically able to com uh, communicate with themselves also so basically we are using some of our of our architecture or some of our internal networking 
so that all the issues are being like uh, uh, interconnected to each other they can exchange the data with the sensors with the, like with the like with the other issues also so here is an uh, like a, a typical issue we have it is just an example of the uh, network just i just i mean just i told you uh, that we have like more than 100 sort of uh, issues different issues being functioning together uh, so basically all of these issues will actually communicate together uh, like via a uh, network so actually we can have like the different kind of network so basically that is called the can bus the, the, the basically controller area network so so, uh, so basically we have here like as you can see we have two different kind of the can bus one is our uh, uh, high speed can bus and the other is our uh, low speed can bus so basically whatever the uh, the data rate like like will be needed for the like for the different issues it will basically have a like the communication with that data rate only uh, suppose if you see the uh, the high responsive issues like our abs and all like or our uh, like our engine control system those will be connected to the the high speed can bus then basically all the issues will be connected uh, together using a, a domain controller then basically there will be a the gateway after the gateway there will be a uh, uh, there will be obd uh, diagnostics so obd is basically called onboard diagnostics so using that uh, uh, onboard diagnostic we can actually communicate to our issues and we can fetch data from our issues so whenever you are actually giving your car for a service or like suppose if, if there is any other any other breakdown will happen so basically the the uh, service engineer uh will be actually communicating to our issues to basically capture that data using the obd uh, like systems so basically if you can see here the uh, the obd will be used for uh, basically communicating to our issues and similarly if you can see uh, different sort of the issues will be uh, interconnected to each other using the different networks so basically so if you just see here uh, we have the different issues so basically uh, different issues will be interconnected using different networks like as you can see here so like uh, so so like this is called a uh, network bus for an for an automotive systems moving together to our uh, next section uh, we will have the software architecture of the issues so i mean just you have seen that uh, we have like uh, like again i'm repeating it so we have like uh, more than the 100 to 200 issues within a car so basically each of the issue we have to uh, i mean uh, fetch a different software for the for like like for the each of the issues actually so each of the issues like uh, it will have all the different set of software or like different set of the sensors basically controlling it so basically if you are if you are going to design a particular software for an for an particular functionality of an issue so you can see the architecture for it so architecture means like uh, the how like like how the different components are uh, basically organized so if you just see the uh, uh, bottom most uh, component we have the uh, the microcontroller so as you know microcontroller and the and the basically uh, your the microprocessors uh, so basically microcontroller will be your so it will be basically your the main controller here so uh, whatever the cores or like or your the software is so actually we have to uh, i mean flash inside it so basically microcontroller will actually take over all the all, like all of the functionality or like all the all the different module of our software if we just see just uh, uh, above to the microcontroller Uh, we have some of the uh, basic functions like can digital io or the uh, or like all of the basically are of the analog io so can as i have just uh, like like shown you before you basically on the control area or network so, so basically if your uh, uh, individual microcontroller has to basically communicate with the other uh, issues so it has to be basically connected through the can so so basically uh, can is an internal peripheral for a microcontroller so so in an other ways microcontroller will actually uh, like like uh, like take care of the of the all uh, uh, networking protocols to be used within the can simply we'll have the uh, like we'll have the analog ios uh, as you know like the we are like we are using different sensors like our uh, pressure sensor or, or like our temperature sensor so basically all these sensors uh, may be analog because like uh, they are actually giving us analog data or uh, like or uh, like or they can be our uh, like the various digital ios as well so basically uh, the microcontroller will have some of the softwares uh, like uh, by like by which we can uh, uh, get the data from the like from the outer sensors simply we have the different driver set also so we have the com adc and the lcd so so com will basically take so com is basically your the communication stack so communication will be like it will be, it will be like a basically take care of like take care of all the data which it is uh, either receiving or it is sending using a, a network 
so uh, so like all the data either it will receive or it will transfer it will be handled through the of the com software and the same software will be the part of a microcontroller simply we have the adcs uh, because if you have interface your sensors to your analog io so we have to fetch uh, like on the that uh, 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 that particular data from your sensors so that particular fetching will be uh, uh, done through your the adcs simply you have the lcd as well like you see the on the different output device uh, like in your uh, dashboard of your driver so we can see the lcd there uh, simply uh, uppermost layer we have the we have the application and like we have the diagnostics so application means uh, the the whatever the whatever the user software like uh, wants to have all the functionality within that that particular issue for example if we have the uh, airbag issue so basically what it has to do is it has to sense all the uh, data from like different sensors it has to sense that the crash has happened and then after the what happened it will basically deploy the airbag so so basically whatever the algorithm uh, we are using within our microcontroller or like uh, or like that particular algorithm for that particular issue for that particular functionality uh, it will be part of our application diagnostic as i have told you uh, so suppose if any uh, service engineer uh, wants to wants to check the data of that uh, particular issue it has to fetch that data using the uh, the diagnostic protocol simply if you see the leftmost uh, component we have the scheduler and the rightmost comp uh, controller uh, component we have the boot order so scheduler is it is like a the os scheduler so basically all your task either it is like performing in your on the different uh, time period so so all the scheduling of your uh, different algorithm will actually be, be taken care by the scheduler and the basically bootloader so bootloader will like like it to basically take care of your uh, initialization of, a, of like of a software so so basically whenever you are the initializing of a software so suppose after the stop power up so bootloader will actually take care of all the sequences so as a uh, so basically as a whole if i just uh, show you this so it is a example of a of a typical issue simply we'll go to the next slide so what are the challenges so as we have see that we have like more than 100 or 200 issues and basically every day we are just uh, keep on increasing the feature uh, within that particular uh, car actually so if we are basically increasing those features it means the challenges like like will also keep on increasing because if you are increasing the feature means you have to you have to add more complex software more more complex uh, algorithms and also the the software has to be more more standardized because suppose if you have uh, a different car company say suppose tesla uh, like gm ford hyundai so basically all has to use a particular standard sort of like a software architecture so basically uh, like like for the earlier days we have like we were actually lacking that we are not using the standardized software but like the uh, like but basically uh, i mean uh, currently nowadays we are actually using a particular standard set of the architecture so as you can see like the what are the uh, challenges we are facing the inter issue communication and processing density of the issues become complex as i have told you suppose if you are using more and more uh, advanced features means you have to add more and more of your issues and if you are and if you are adding more and more issues means if you want to communicate with with uh, with uh, uh, each of the issue it will basically will add in uh, uh, i mean more like more delay while basically communicating complexity of functionality and features increases exponentially in model vehicle system as i told you so whenever we are uh, so so basically whenever we are adding uh, the more functionality more features means 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 basically complexity of the software architecture has to be more complex so there actually uh, i mean need of a standard software architecture arises so that's uh, so so basically there's where we are actually saying that we need uh, we need a more uh, like a more modern standard software architecture like uh, which will be capable of handling the complex features and also because uh, like like the different car companies can use uh, like uh, the different kind of microcontrollers so basically i mean software has to be different but like even though like we are using uh, the different sort of uh, a uh, different sort of microcontrollers the uh, i mean the uh, basically the software architecture has to be standardized so next next i will introduce uh, autosar so it is called uh, automotive open system architecture as i have just told you so i mean if you are using uh, uh, like the more number of issues so so, uh, so basically software architecture has to be more modern so that Uh, so that i mean uh, like like every uh, the oem or the, the car companies like your as i just told the ford tesla or like uh, hyundai or like honda so basically they will be using a uh, all, all, all like all the single set of 
uh, like a standardized software architecture actually so so uh, so that standardized uh, software architecture it is called autosaf so uh, like so either you are using ecus from honda or like uh, hyundai so basically architecture of that of that particular software will be the autosaf only i'll introduce like what are the features of the autosaf in a uh, in our next slides uh, why it is needed uh, as i just told you it is basically developed for improving the cost efficiency and handling the complexity of the automotive architectures so basically if you are using some new features or like or, or like some new the complex things uh, like uh, like functionality within your within your car so basically you have to be using this autosaf architecture so after using this architecture uh, so basically it will help you to handle the complexity of the functionality what it contains uh, it contains some standard requirement and the technical specification so basically if you just see the architecture we have got different components right so basically each of those uh, so basically each of those uh, those component will have a like will have a separate technical requirement so like how it is going to be implemented or like what are this so the functionality will be so all that standard set of set of requirements will be mentioned there now what are the technical goal the technical goal is to standardize the interface between different software component across the different manufacturer and the suppliers as i have just, just told you i mean the main goal of using the autosaf architecture is basically to standardize your interface between the different software component across different manufacturers now software component here means like your the sensors you like your algorithms or the uh, or the, the different set of application basically you are using within a software suppose if i'm talking about the airbag system means software component for me will be the algorithms like basically how we are sensing it and then how we are uh, and then how we are deploying the airbag is so basically it will be like the happening through your uh, the, the basically your uh, your the autosar only so we'll have, so we'll use the standard software there evolution of the autosar so i mean so the how it was like how it was originated i just i mean just i've told you that why it was needed to originate so as you can see like currently we are in the uh, we are in the, the 4.3 stage so starting delivery it like it, it like it actually started in 2004 to 2006 and then after that we had we have keep on increasing the kind of uh, like a complexity in this architecture and now currently we are into the the 4.3 uh, like 4.3 version so so if you can see uh, like the before uh, i mean before i mean uh, uh, you are just using the uh, like uh, like a very simple set of the architecture so, so as per the new standard those simple architecture of the issues i mean those will be like more vulnerable and those will be not able to handle the complex or the new features so basically if you want to handle some more complex features so we have to switch to the autosar so basically what does this autosar will comprise 